Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the SOG key knife, so stay tuned. I was walking around my Walmart one morning, and it just so happens that they got in a whole bunch of new stuff. And the gentleman behind the, the counter at the Sporting Goods knows, knows me, and he's like, Hey, we just got all this stuff we haven't even put out yet. Look at all this stuff. Check it out. He puts it all out for me to uh, get first dibs on, and I really appreciate it. And um, they got a whole bunch of new Camellias, Camellias stuff. They got a whole bunch of new uh, Sheffield stuff, which I know I've gotten a couple of requests for. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, but I'll go ahead and review it since some a couple of folks had requested it. And also some new SOG products. Now, this is one of them, and that's the key knife. There's also another one that I'm probably going to pick up pretty soon, and that is the SOG Spirit. It, that's a cool-looking knife, but uh, I didn't have the funds to pick that up and all the other crap that I had picked up. So anyway, let's get into this review. This is a everyday carry kind of knife. I like how it says everyday carry. And it comes in this neat box, but they also have it in the blister pack. As a matter of fact, the, my Walmart had it in both. Um, he had showed me this, and then the next day they had some up in the blister packs. They also, they came in this black, but they also came in like a brass colored, the uh, the scales or the key or whatever you want to call it. So th this happens to be the box version. And um, it says key-101B. And it's the black version so we'll go ahead and unpack this and see what it looks like and then we'll start going over the specs nice and close so here it is and we'll go ahead and take a closer look so as you can see it's a uh, pretty small compared to my hand here <laughs> Look at this, compared to my watch. It's a giant watch. This thing is like a 50 centimeter, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, pretty uh, pretty nice. My first impression is it, it feels pretty solid. It's pretty light. It's 0.7 ounces, but it still has a very solid feel to it. And um, really, the, the there's no obvious machining or anything bad about it but what I'm really trying to get to say here is that it seems to be made pretty good now while it's closed it's only two and a half inches long now let's go ahead and open this up there is a nail nick right here and it's very easy to open and the first thing that you'll notice is it locks this is the first key knife that I've come across that's a lock back check that out see you gotta press this in and it folds up. Pretty cool, huh? It is an actual lockback. So you can see the, the mechanism right there come up. Just like a, re a real lockback. You can also see right there it is made in Taiwan. Has a nice black satin coating on it. At least this version does. And you can see it does say SOG. And again, it, it really seems to be made really good. How much did I pay for this? Good question. I paid an unbelievable price, low price in my opinion. Uh, I think it was for eight dollars, eight nine dollars, and you could get this online for about uh, nine to ten dollars. I'm going to show you the other side. There's the other side. Now let's go over the rest of the specifications. Overall length when this is open is four inches. Again, the weight is 0.7 ounces. Blade thickness is 0.05 inches. So it's, it's very thin, but you know, you got to remember what this is. It is a folding knife. It is a lock back. has a satin finish. The blade steel, the blade steel is 420J2 steel. That's a softer steel. Yeah, Rockwell hardness of about 52 to 54. Um, but it, you know, it is a stainless steel. Plus it has that coating on it, so it should be pretty resistant to the elements. So, I'll tell you, I really, really like this knife. Now, they do have 
like I said, one with a different type of uh, color. It's like a, a brass color, but this is the, the black version. And I, I like the black version a lot better. By the way, the blade length, I almost forgot. The blade length is 1.5 inches. So let's see, can I cut paper? I usually do a paper cutting test. I'm not going to do all the other tests, but let's go ahead and see if it's sharp enough to cut paper out of the box. Wow, look at that. That's pretty damn impressive. Yep, I said the D word. <laughs> that is pretty impressive. How about um, blade play? <laughs> it's unbelievable, but this little guy has no blade play up and down or side to side. Let's see if I can do the uh, blade centering thing. I don't know. It looks like, let me turn on the light on top of my camera. How does that look? It's so tight, it's hard to tell. It looks like it, it is a little bit to the uh, to your right, as far as centering is concerned, but I don't, I don't think you can um, really complain. It, it would be really hard. There is no way to adjust this knife. Everything is just sort of riveted in. I'm sorry about the focus. The camera's not doing such a hot job today, and nor am I. So let's wrap things up on one test. Uh, I almost forgot his blade retention. Look at that. You can see it's, uh, you have to get it out almost, I don't know, what is that, 40 degrees <laughs> before it will stop trying to snap in. So good blade retention. It's not going to come off in your pocket. Just freaking awesome. The only the only thing I can find wrong with this is just that, that <laughs> centering. But, I mean, you, you only got, like, uh, micrometers to, to play with because this is so tidy. So, um, I... <laughs> I want to give it a 10 out of 10. Um, if I could be picky, it would be a 9 out of 10. But you know what? 10 out of 10. I, I can't. There's nothing, even though that, that centering is so a tiny bit off, it's not off enough to, to mark the blade or anything. It's not rubbing. It's definitely not rubbing. So 10 out of 10. I highly, 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 highly recommend this, especially for the price. This would make a great gift. If you're someone who doesn't carry much because you just don't like all that crap in your pocket and um, won't even carry a knife, um, no excuse for this one <laughs> at all. I mean, it's just a key. <laughs> Nothing to see here. It's just a key. But, I, you know, you really should have a knife on you. Now, the bad thing about this is since it is a locking blade, it's a lockback, I know there are some countries where this is a deal breaker. Um, usually you, you know, a slip joint is fine, but a, but a locking blade is against the law. I apologize for your, <laughs> that you, if you have that law and this is not an option, but for those of you who live in areas where you can carry something like this, I recommend that you do. It's freaking awesome. So anyway, um, if you notice my lighting seems a little bit different, it is, <laughs> it's a lot different. My wife uh, bought me some something outstanding for my birthday, something awesome for my birthday, and it's uh, she knows that I love to do this YouTube deal, and and hopefully you like watching this. But um, one thing to improve my YouTube channel was to do something about my lighting, which she um, she's looking out after me. So I'm gonna show you this freaking thing. It's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and, and take you off the mount here. Let's see if I can do this without. There we go. Now check this out. Oof. <laughs> All you can see is the, it's one of those professional lighting things. Let me see if I can back up a little bit so you can, you can see it. There we go. It's hard to see anything else. You can see it's like on a stand. And you can see I got my, my computer there with some notes. So while I'm facing the camera, which was right there, I have my notes right there. And you can see this big big thing here I mean just look at this so it's a uh, you know has a a unit back here that and it has these five bulbs in it that you can switch on and off individually and then you have this um, big square thing which which is like foil on the inside and then it has a uh, you could put this cloth over it that sort of diffuses it I guess it's called the diffuser diffuser and it's on a big tripod and she basically got me three of these, <laughs> and I only could fit one in this little room. So, and I think one is enough. 
So let me uh, let me put you back on the tripod and uh, back you off because I'm scary looking. I don't want to scare my viewers away. So there you are. <laughs> Tried to uh, improve the channel just a little bit. Again, I got my Blue Yeti right here, which makes the audio awesome. I did buy this. Uh, it's like a wind, uh, a windbreaker, whatever it's called. <laughs> it, it gets rid of wind noise that I got at Radio Shack that I was able to force over the top of this so I could get rid of the wind noise when I say my peas. <laughs> pa, pa, pa. You know, so hopefully it helps. So, just trying to make things better for you. Alright, well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you. And I hope you have a great weekend. And for those of you who are suffering because of the furlough, have a happy three-day, but one-day unpaid weekend. I, I feel for you, and I'm suffering with you, so you have a fellow sufferer. Okay, take care.